Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another tutorial. I'm 7beats and in this video I'm going to show you the best audio settings for Apple Studio. So when we want to make some adjustments to our audio settings, we want to open up options, audio settings. So right now I'm using the SCAR, the 2i2 as my audio interface and I'm using the FL Studio ASIO as my device because I think this one is the most updated driver you can use in FL Studio. So just keep the sample rate at default and disable mix and buffer switch so this one and this will just use some extra cpu especially when you're using third party software and the triple buffer because it will just add some buffer time and for me there is no advantage so i will just keep it disabled but the most important step in setting your audio settings correctly is your buffer length so what this basically means is the time your cpu gets to calculate the signal so right now it's set to 24 milliseconds, which is equal to 1024 samples. And by clicking on this, this menu will pop up and we could adjust it. And because when we're talking about a digital system, we can talk about samples. So if we adjust it to 2084 samples, your CPU has twice as much time to calculate the signal as 1024. So that's basically it. So when you're working on really heavy projects, I would really recommend you to set this one to 2084 samples. It's a delay of 100 milliseconds. You're able to recognize it, but it's not really annoying when working in a project. But when you're recording vocals, your vocal will also be delayed 100 milliseconds. So really keep that in mind. And maybe you could just lower your buffer length a little bit. And right here, which is also really important, is the priority. So what this means is basically the CPU priority given to the mixer. So that's where the heavy work is going on. So I should really recommend you to set this to highest and really enable safe overload so your program will not freeze. So for the playback tracking, I will just use the decent settings. So the mixer and just set the offset to zero. And for the CPU tab, just use the default settings like this. And for the mixer tab, I'm using the 24 point sync resampling quality. It's just the average quality, but when you're exporting your beat, FL Studio will export every sample in the highest quality possible. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and see you guys in one of my next tutorials.